Right, it is a bit of a Sunday afternoon prep before fencing. Let me explain what's going on. So last week, uh, 10 of our Patreons joined us for a working party and as well as clearing all of the banks along this side of the secret meadow, the guys were down in the brook pulling out, you know, huge logs and trees that had come down in floods in previous years. So we've done a good job down there. Today's priority though is this side because tomorrow we have a big install going on. Now there's not much in terms of fencing over this side of the farm. Well, there's not much fencing anyway. But this is as much as it is. Sadly, it's grown into that oak tree, but there's just two strands of barbed wire that runs along here, hit and miss, it's barely there. Uh, and as you can see, everything's grown into it, grown over, and I've been working my way through it to pick up on the old fence line. But there's some bigger stuff here. There's a tree that's grown up this side of the fence further up down there we've accepted that we're going to leave in the old fence because it's just on a really horrible nettle ridden bank and we'll set our new one in about a meter a meter and a half that'll give us a nice little double fence corridor to plant trees down this end we're okay for trees but we want to pull a straight line because the straighter the fence line the neater it is the tighter it is the less big strain of posts we're going to have to have this is particularly dodgy but we'll see. If I cut off the branches down the bottom and then we might be able to tug it out with the tractor. Right, before we start on the saw, I think we should see what we can pull out with the tractor. So a lot of it's loose. I went to pull a log out, pulled a fallen tree out. Judging by how strong this little tractor can be, I just wonder if it's safer, although it doesn't sound it, safer to give this a tug and hope that split end drops rather than starting to cut down here and not know what weight it's bearing where. I think it should be okay. Well, that beats messing around with a saw and climbing up trees. It really wasn't held on by much. It was just where all these split fibers are. It's a nice piece of oak. I mean, it's only firewood grade, albeit that Joe wants to do sort of a rustic wild climbing frame. So maybe some of this more solid, but once it's debarked, it's not rotten. What I didn't want to do is grip onto it with the tractor, because then if it fell, you know, it could do all sorts of the tractor. If you're just resting on it and you know you're pulling, the only thing it can do is just drop. So I think we're as safe as we can be. So I'm gonna try and tug these out of the way now.
Oh, that tractor's doing well, isn't it, for its size. We've got, you'll notice I didn't bother getting the chainsaw out for this tree that was growing this side of it. I'd rather get the roots out, otherwise it would just grow bang. I mean, this elder just grows everywhere anyway. But if I can get it out, that last little bit of root, we know that it's not gonna mess with our fence. And I've started pulling out the old wire. Uh, it's just rotten. I mean, look at these posts. I've left uh, some of the posts in, but pulled the barbed wire off, hopefully that's the easiest way. The first batch I pulled out had the posts on and it was horrible to work with. All right, we're to take a bit of an interlude, support the lionesses, won the football. Now we're on to clear up because it's, I mean, it's eight o'clock now. The tractor's not that loud, it's fine. It's not like we're working through the night here. Well, we are definitely gonna set it in. It looks like we could go right in where the old fence line is but i think it just makes sense to come out a little bit and then we can just manage either side of that to keep on top of it if i can walk along it and strim the other side once a year that would be good at the base of this oak tree i'm just putting back on to this bank where it came down from and then i'm thinking i should probably pull out this last bit of fence that's in here Well, it's too late to be getting a chainsaw right now, and annoyingly, this willow, remember earlier in the year, we had all these trees that had fallen down over this kind of narrow section. Everything was cut back to the fence line. Now with this big limb, well, big tree, finishes on top of this old fence. I really want to make sure we got as much of this. I don't want to lose any land here because it's narrow enough because the brook starts here where the guys had cleared it up last week and it gets pretty boggy. Hmm, there's no way we can pull it out with the tractor. We've also got this to deal with. Tree surgeons get in touch, please. <laughs> this willow fell last year and it's now hanging up in that oak tree. As far as hanging trees, it couldn't be much safer because it's about behind about four huge, healthy limbs of oak. It's not going anywhere, but it does need to come out. Right, bright and early start. Chipper arrived, by the way, so we are all set for chipping. I spoke to Tom the fencer yesterday. He's gonna head over with the tractor and then he's gotta go back and pick up his Land Rover and I don't know, there's a bit of back and forward. So I'm not sure what time he's gonna get here, but it, I think I'm safe that I've got about an hour to do the last bit of tidying up down there and basically just drive the whole line just to make sure everything's clear so we don't have any holdups later.
we're getting there. Still no sign of Tom, so I'm going to carry on and make the most of the fact that we've got no fence line here. All of this soil is banked up over the years, I guess, just all these trees moving around and water coming through and all sorts. And because our fence, is, fence line is kind of halfway up here, so I'm going to try and just smooth out this bank and like cut into it a bit. That way, stuff's not going to just fall into the back of the stock fence. And hopefully it's going to look a bit tidier. We also had a big dip here, which filled with water in the winter. So I'm hoping that by bringing it in, grading it out, we should be good. So the guys are setting out a few posts, I'll give you a bit of an explainer and then we'll call it a day for today's video. So they've just rocked up and picked up, I didn't even know they got here, they used their own initiative and started loading up all the posts that I'd left out in the yard, which is cool. So lots of learning, lots of watching. We've done all the hard work, no we haven't really, but we've done all the prep work. And now you can see here, it's just nice and clear, it's about in the middle here. We're not going to be greedy, there's no point in bumping it right back into the old fence. I'd rather get it so I can manage both sides of the fence all the way along. We've left bits of the old fence in anyway. And there's a few turning points down there, but it's a much, much straighter run than it was originally. And of course we could get a post knocker for the back of our tractor. Um, but the main difference is you're looking at like a 60, 80 kilo weight on the back of ours. And then, I don't know what this is, two or 300 kilos. So you can't really, you can't really put that on that. Anyway, I'm going to leave the guys to get set up. And we'll pick up the rest of this in the next video. Thank you for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself. We'll see you next time.